did a filter made from some cheap plastic pipe, drilled with some holes, and placed under a bed of JBL Monado gravel actually filter an aquarium? Or did it just immediately get clogged up and become useless? Well, in this slightly off the cuff video, we'll find out. Now you'll have to forgive some slightly shaky filming for this one. The idea to record an update came at the very same time that I was breaking this tank down. To provide a bit of context, today I'm talking about my tool station filter, a 30 litre nano tank build where I experimented with a hybrid under gravel and sponge filter built out of cheap 21.5 millimetre plastic pipe and fittings, which I bought from, yes, you guessed it, tool station. The filter provides two areas of intake, one within the sponge and another slower plenum style intake within the substrate. I've had this tank running for well over a year, growing out a lovely carpet of Liliopsis Novozelande and a Cryptocorium Wentii Mioya. Initially this tank housed my old better fish Bertie, and then more recently it has become a breeding ground for red cherry shrimp. And over the past year I've had plenty of interest in the video, and had a lot of fun showcasing my wife's wonderful voiceover to our friends. In fact, just for fun, let's recap that beautiful moment. You see, this is not just any old aquascape. This is an efficient, beautiful, air-driven, high-tech aquascape. But more than just general positivity about the video, plenty of people have asked how the filter is going, and there has been a fair bit of speculation that it won't have taken long before the whole pipe is clogged up with gravel and the filter is basically redundant. So let's take a look and see if that was the case. Cue the shaky footage. So as I broke down the tank, I honestly wasn't sure what I would find. You may remember that I added a layer of aqua soil at the very bottom before adding the JBL Monado. Now, Monado is basically just scoria volcanic gravel, which I thought should have the perfect qualities for an undergravel filter. But plenty of people were concerned that it might be too fine. Equally, it could have turned out to be a little foolish adding the bottom layer of aqua soil. As you can see, things were decidedly muddy to say the least. But once I started to break things down further, it was evident that my concerns were not warranted. Aside from the sponge element of the filter being completely overrun by the roots of a spider plant, there were no blockages or failures for this filter at all. As you can see, once I get the light right, all of the pipes were completely clear of any of the JBL Monado and have been able to freely draw water through the filter for the past year. Even in the front pipes where the majority of the holes were drilled, there wasn't a single speck of gravel. And I guess I shouldn't be all that surprised. After all, this has been cycled and safely keeping fish and shrimp for well over a year now. The nitrification occurring at root level has been successfully growing plants, and generally this has been a really settled and well-established aquarium, which I'm only breaking down now to create some exciting new content for you guys. So what would I do differently? Well, despite it working, I do think that it was more luck than judgment, and that the concerned comments were still warranted. So if I were redoing this filter, I think that I would add a fine mesh and additional filter media over the pipe to avoid any potential for clogging. That way you don't have to just cross your fingers and hope for the best. You'll note there is absolutely no chance of cloggage and could even draw the holes in the pipe slightly larger as a result, which would then increase water flow throughout the gravel. And in terms of undergrowth filters and its ability to successfully grow plants and establish a healthy tank, well, I continue to be amazed at what can be achieved and have a few experiments on the horizon where I'm exploring underground filtration and planted aquariums in greater detail. But in the meantime, you can watch me argue with artificial intelligence and create a beautiful underground filter better tank by checking out this video here. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.